Hello everyone, this is Wendell. And this is Stephanie. And welcome back to the Novice-ish channel. And for today's topic, and this one is weird for me, I don't know, for you guys. Watching video game playthroughs like a TV series. <laughs> okay, let me get started on this one. Alright, the reason why we decided to do this was when my daughter was born several years ago. And... I went from playing video games and then having to be very stringent on our finances. So I started browsing through Google one day and then also decided to go through YouTube. And I seen a whole new world of people <laughs> doing video game walkthroughs. And this was new for me. I never really seen this pop up on my feed. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. So these guys are already playing the video games and I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Right? So I was like, all right. Instead of me, you know, having to pay up the, that 50 to $60 for a new video game, I was like, man, let me watch this guy pay 28 parts of this video game. Because once I see the ending one time, I'm I'm over it. Like, I don't want to play it anymore. I know there's special, you know, mysterious stuff in the video games and all these different things you can get. But I really don't care. I really care about the story. Mm -hmm. So once I get the the full story of the game i'm good <laughs> so once that gamer plays through it i'm i'm satisfied i'm yeah. pretty much good so when i got the idea i then you know d decided to do it with my wife and yeah i mean it's we've been doing it ever since right where we'll find these games that we like that's coming out and we anticipate them waiting and then once the game drops we're like on youtube all excited looking for the first person person yeah. that played the game right so we could start watching the playthroughs and then we end up watching like four hours, four hours yeah. <laughs> we'll literally it's be a time to, killer we'll literally go to bed at like three in the morning yeah just because we're watching like episode on top of episode of like these these guys like or girls like playing these games and i'm big on the ones that says no commentary i know some folks out there they're really big on the ones where they're the the youtuber is actually talking I don't because I want to focus on the story, right? And I want to see the gameplay. So I'm not a big fan of that where they're always talking. I mean, there's one guy we do like, though. What's his name again? I think the the Brad Rad. Yeah, Brad, Brad Rad. Brad. Yeah, something like that. He's really good. I mean, because he's funny right? yeah. when he does it. But not a lot of people I'm really comfortable with and watching those type of games. And then they're talking. I feel like they're cutting into the story. Yeah, you know? and, and I think we also are... We also, I know it sounds awful because I know I would definitely be a beginner in games, but we like seeing advanced like players, someone who actually knows how to play the game, yeah. especially if it's a shooting game. Yeah, because we be talking uh, shit. Because we talk, yeah, because we talk shit. They're like, look at him, he missing. Like, what he doing? He don't even know what he doing. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, like if it was me, I know like I would have been killed like in the first three seconds yeah, of the game. Too, like, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I be feeling bold. You know, we be in our room just watching it. I'm like, why the fuck he did that? Or, <laughs> you know, like, why did he go through that way? Did he know he was going to get caught? But no, damn well, if I would have played the game myself, <laughs> I would have got killed probably like 20 times over before I passed that part. So, <laughs> shout out to you gamers out there, man. You know, you don't really, you know, say anything about you guys, but, you know, this time we do feel that way, though. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, but then, I know, you know, I'm trying to think back us, you know, two games that, we played right one that we don't like yeah and the one that we actually did like so let's start with the bad one first okay right because i feel like that one is you know let's get that off our system because we just <laughs> went through one just now and the last one we saw was assassin's creed yes right yes the um what valhalla Va yeah valhalla yeah. yeah man uh we saw one youtuber wow 37 parts <laughs> to this game okay and and the average length of the videos were like an hour. Yeah. So there was so much content in that game. Yes, there right? is. I mean, but that's not unusual for Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah. Assassin's Creed is very good at that. But this story, I mean, the story itself, the content was really good. But that ending was terrible. Yeah. Right? And I understand there's like a DLC attached to yeah, it. Yeah, we haven't watched it yet. We got to check it out. Yep. But, um... That ending was just kind of like, okay, so uh, what... What 
What was, else? Is that it? Is that the end? Like, yeah, so <laughs> like it was just it was such an empty <laughs> ending. You were just kind of like, okay, wait, was that it? Was that the oh, ending? Because yeah. like we've had we've we've seen other games that had DLCs. Um, but, still, the but the First ending was, was still good. good. Like, yeah. um, what's the game that you liked watching? Um, Which one? Uh, they were supposed to release something in 2022, but they stated that they were still, I guess, working on it, or due to the fact of COVID, um, they couldn't really work on it. Uh, Dragon. Oh Dragon yeah. Dragon Dogma is it? No, no, it's not uh, Dragon Dogma. It's, it's, it's the Dragon Age. Dragon series. Age. Dragon. Yeah, Age. that one actually. Did, not gonna lie. I played that game. Yeah, you did. Right? Yeah. It's a role-playing game, and it's about dragons and knights and mages and that kind of thing. Yeah, and um, and, and it, I actually do play that role-playing game. I, I like that yeah. game a lot. And that, one, and that one's also based on your decisions. So yes. So it's like yes. you make a decision, and you kind of go with it. And, and then, you have a specific ending for it. Yeah, that has a yeah. specific ending mm-hmm. for it. So that one was a great game just because it had a great ending. You know, there was a huge fight, you know, and then, I don't know, some the portal. Like, yeah. It was some craziness. That's all I know. Yeah. But it was a good game. It ended really well. And I was like, okay, I know that this game is done. It's finished. Everyone now is getting together to kind of recreate their government and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything's all good. Now, this Assassin's Creed game, I was just like, okay, where are we going from here? what's going on like there's no real ending there wasn't no like there wasn't a big war going on it wasn't like i mean there was a fight but it wasn't like this huge thing where it's like yes we've conquered and you know that kind of thing um so yeah Yeah. it was it was kind of like i think like we we just need to go to the dlc i think the dlc might bring it all together yeah but yeah yeah, but that was a little bit too long for me man i think 37 parts for a game is wow i think that's the longest Yes. We have seen up until this point. So, yeah, I mean, that, you know, shout out to those folks who made that game, but wow. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, the, way too much. the storyline was great. I mean, the whole Vikings thing. Like, yeah, that's yeah, pretty definitely. Cool. Definitely, yeah. Um, but yeah, this, the ending just, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know if all Assassin's Creed games are like that. No, that not that. Um, n- not really. Not from like, what I've seen. Yeah, I feel like most of them usually have like a good ending and, to them. Yeah, they're still long, but they have an ending. to yeah, them. Yeah, but not that long. Yeah, um, thirty-seven parts. That's that's a lot. I think the most before that was like maybe like thirty-two. And the thing is that the last two parts of this of the game that he played was like like almost two hours each. Yeah, they were like two right? to three so hours. That, it wasn't like oh two thirty-minute videos, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a couple of hours. On the last two parts. That's but, what it got to me. But trust us, if you want something to help you sleep... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, because I would knock yeah, out. That, that was crazy. Because, like, the thing is, like... I mean, I'm over here like, okay, are we going to watch the game tonight? You say yes. I'm ready to go. You know, we do our thing. We prepare to go to bed, take our showers and stuff. Whatever it is that we do. And then I play the game. And then I'll see that you're knocked out. Okay, first of all. So I'm like, what? First of all, you Come cannot on, say anything with your heavy breathing. Because like, nah, you'll you be heavy breathing. I'll be like, are you, did you fall asleep? I'll be like, no. Did you, did you fall asleep? And I don't, hear, not, but I don't hear a peep from you. But wait, but that's the thing. You <laughs> told me that that game helps you sleep. But it helps you sleep too. No, it didn't. No. Yeah, okay, no. sure. I'm just tired. That, that yeah. none of Okay, but you still fell asleep, yeah. right? All right. Yeah, but it, it did help. A lot of moments, but the thing is that we were going to bed really late. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we were watching that game. Yeah, and then there was a couple of times we had to. I just like said, you know what? We're not gonna watch it. We need to sleep. Right? Yeah. So we took a break from it too. Yeah, but but there's also the fact that you had such like when you get so excited about a game because it's it's like everywhere. It's like people are talking about it. People are like really into it. And oh, yeah. that and that like, yes, and that yeah. was the game that we love. And of course. Who cannot know that these people are going to create a wonderful game, Resident Evil Village. Yeah, that one was like, really good. That was a wonderful game. Now, listen, this is the thing, okay? Resident Evil. Now, I used to watch Resident Evil. I used to watch my cousin play Resident Evil, right? And I am not a fan of zombies. <laughs> I am scared shitless of zombies, okay? Okay. 
I believe in the whole zombie apocalypse. All I know of is it happens, someone's gonna get tripped, and I'm gonna try to survive the best I can. Nah, and I'm trying me. Look, man, I'm look, nobody's I'm grabbing the kids. Nobody's gonna win against me. No nobody in track and field is going to win while I'm running away from a zombie, okay? <laughs> Like, it's not going to happen. That's the only time I'll run. I don't like running. I will run if a zombie comes. <laughs> yeah, but this, this this not... The zombies that we'll probably encounter has nothing to do with the one in Resident Evil 1, right? The ones with slow walking? Nah, yeah, these the zombies walking. running around. They yeah. shooting guns. Yeah. <laughs> they throwing axes at you. Yeah. All kind of stuff. So but they're going to try to outsmart you. But yeah. Village was really good. Man. Village was really good. Yeah, really, Village really good. with, you know, the whole Lycan vampire, like, kind of thing. That. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. Um, I really, really liked it. I liked the storyline. I thought it was awesome. And I know everyone, everyone was falling in love with Lady D. Yeah, Lady like, Dimitrescu. Yeah. Everybody loved Lady D. And it was crazy because there was, like, mods of people... Um, Using spatulas, <laughs> <laughs> it was using spatulas and hit her, her butt because yeah, everybody was talking about her having a big butt. Fly, you know fly swatters. They were hitting her with fly like, swatters. This is crazy, man. I was like, I, and I knew. I was like, yo, when we saw that they made her as a character, I was like, yo, they're going to mod the crap out of this thing. Yes, and they did, and they did. I mean, it, it was crazy. Like I had to just get away from it because all I was doing was. Going through all these YouTube videos or all these different mods of people using bananas as a gun. <laughs> they used the um Barney was like some Barney of the zombies. Was a, yeah, I was like, I saw Barney. <laughs> I was seeing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. I was like, man, this is getting out of hand. Yes, it so was. I was like, you know what? All right, I'm done. I just thought it was you know, funny glad. though. It but I'm funny. glad we saw it though, because yeah, that that anticipation was crazy. Because I remember the that midnight. When it hit midnight of the day when I knew it was going to be released. Yes. I went on to YouTube and I was like, okay, who's the first one to drop? Because there's always going to be someone that is not supposed to post the video, but they do it anyway. <laughs> and I and I found one guy and I was watching it. We were both watching yeah, it. Yeah, we were. And then I remember there was this one that came out actually earlier the day before. And I went to go check it out and they cut it like right in the middle of it. I was watching. I was like, what happened? I was like an hour or two. I was like, oh man, they shut this thing down. Yeah. But I, yeah, I was anticipating that game for a long time because they, they were talking a lot about it like like three or four months before it even came out. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And there's a DLC coming. Yeah, that one. Yeah, they said later this year. I yeah. Think that, was well, out. they said yeah. coming soon. And um, the reason why they're doing it is just because, you know, it, it got the so way big. It yeah. No, um, Village Village got so big, so many people requesting a DLC, and they were like, "Okay, we, we're gonna go, want. yeah, we're gonna yeah. go ahead and make one." Well, I hope they don't make it like you know, because a lot of DLCs that I've seen, they're pretty short. And yeah. when I see the game is online, they, it's like, it takes them like two hours, yeah, to finish it. I hope they make it a little bit longer than that because they can do a lot with this story, you know. I wouldn't mind getting a DLC in regards to the four houses. Like, getting a little bit more of a background information on who they were and who these people were. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, like a pre... Like a pre... Yeah, yeah. before the experiments occurred and all that kind of okay. stuff. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that would be pretty cool to kind of get more information about the houses. Yeah, we'll see. I um, mean, yeah, that's a, that's a real interesting one to look into. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah that, that was a very, very good game. Very good game. Yeah, we both anticipated. We finished it that day. Yeah, we did. No, yeah, we've been, we, like, we watched it within two days. It Not, was within two days. I think we watched most of it the first day. Yeah, though, most right? of it was watched yeah, the, the first second day. The second day was probably what, like the last part? Yeah, the last part. Like the last like two hours of the game we finished the very next day. So I must say, yes, it took like a day. <laughs> right? It In regards to the hours, yes. Yeah. But that yeah, that was a real good game. But yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, I always felt like us doing this, watching like a TV series was kind of weird because I know if I was to go to any of my friends or anything like that, they're like, why you just don't play the game? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, and well, I, there's a financial part of it, but then again, it's like, you know, why do why do I need to, right? Yeah. I know there's a lot of good gamers out there. Why not support them and watch their videos and watch them play, right? Yeah. So it's, a, mean, it's a win-win. Yeah, and there's also the fact that, you know, like... It's a way for us to bond because yeah, so like I'm not much of chill. yeah I'm yeah. not much of a fan of like the things that you like to watch. You know they like, say Netflix and chill. Yeah, Netflix. No, yeah, us I is know. YouTube gaming and chill. <laughs> YouTube. That's gaming what, and that's chill. us right there. I know yeah. Netflix and chill because you don't like 
like half of the stuff that I watch on Netflix today, right? No, so I rarely YouTube, even watch Netflix. Yeah, it's YouTube gaming and chill for us. Yeah, That's how pretty we do much. It. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. So yeah, guys. So we'd we'll love to hear some feedback from you guys. Leave leave a comment. Is this something that you guys do today? I feel like you know, I mean, in my own world of us doing this, but. Who knows? I know there's probably other couples doing the same thing. Yeah, so. possibly. Yeah, yeah, there's other couples watching it. I mean, and, and on top of that, we're very big. Like, we like anime and we like manga yeah. kind of stuff. Yep. So we're very into that. So whenever gotcha. an animation mm-hmm. comes out, like, we also watch those kind of things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's something that maybe people should get more into. I, I think, like, if they can't get into a series, maybe they can get into a game. There's an ending to it. They can get really into it, and they can kind of, like, go back and forth. And, and be patient, right? Yeah. Because it's gameplay. Like, these guys, when they play online, some of them might even play through, play through, like, literally play through, show their death, yes. and them having to try over and over yeah, again, exactly. too, right? So, yeah, just be patient with it, you know, yeah. and, and, and enjoy it for what it is. And, yes, it's very cost-effective, yeah. right? Rather the, than have to pay for the video games all the time. Yeah. And yeah. you get so into it because it's like you start... You know, you start looking at the voice actors and, and uh, Lord, like, how good they are. Yeah. Those voice, mm-hmm. those voice actors, like, they do, like, they literally go through the process of, you know, you know, talking, doing the, you know, doing the voices, but also acting. Yeah. You know? So I think it's really cool. It's a great way of interacting, and it, it's new to us, you know? I mean, we, we started off with, with um, anime. Yeah. And then we kind of got into the whole gaming thing. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is this was a cool topic. All right, guys. So when you get a chance, if you like what you the content, please like, subscribe. Yeah. And give us your feedback. Yeah, and comment. Like to, if you, yeah. yeah, if you see the games, comment down if you like, you know, the Resident Evil Village. Or if you if you actually did like, um, what was that? Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Yeah. Or if you didn't like it. If you didn't like either one of them. We would like to hear your, you know, your comments and what you thought about those games. And what you think about, you know, watching games as a way to bond with your partner. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, guys. So see you in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. See Bye. you. All right, peace.